Hey guys, this is John Trumbly here. I am, this is going to be the first of what I hope to be many episodes here on my channel. Um, I wanted to start out this channel with a coming out story. I've realized that I never really told anyone how I came out and what better way to do it than YouTube. <laughs> So, um, back in 2012, Christmas break, I had flown to Texas to visit my family. I was a freshman in college, and we were riding around town with three of my cousins when the question came up, John, are you gay? Are you bi? And I told him I'm bisexual. They didn't really care. Um, I was nervous to say something, you know. My family are Christians, and it is not really something we've ever talked about. Like, we don't just guess homosexuality. We don't, that's something you don't ever hear in our family. And, you know, my cousin said, oh, John, getting the best of both worlds. So, it, it was a weight off my shoulder. Um, and then, I had gone back down to visit spring of 2013. And this time, it was one of my cousins and my grandmother. We went, our grandmother. We went out to eat lunch at a local restaurant. And it came up in the conversation, Hey, Grandma, John Bacetral. No, he liked guys and girls. I thought that she would have something negative to say. I mean, that's my grandmother's old school. And she didn't really care. She, all she had to say was, um, don't tell so-and-so, you know, certain members of the family because they're, a little bit more religious than the rest of us. And it was, it was a relief because I was always worried, you know, will they still love me or are they going to think differently of me because of who I choose to love. And for the most part, most of the family, as far as I know of, they're very supportive. And I'm very fortunate to have that because before I told them, the only people that knew were the people in the foster home. Uh, I was in foster care for roughly about two, two years. And I never said anything. When I first went into foster care, the caseworker, she's lesbian. She has a wife and all that. One look at me, and she took me to the side. I was about 14 at the time. And she asked me, are you attracted to boys? It blew me away. It blew me away because I didn't feel like I had projected that image of me. No one else had ever asked me that. And I told her, yes, yes, I do. So the foster family knew about it. They were very supportive. If anything, they made sure, you know, had huge protection, you know, stay away from this person, that person, that person, they did what they could to keep me safe as far as, you know, being sexually active or, you know, the people that I tried to date. And it was not what I was expecting because you hear so many stories about, you know, being kicked out of your home you know, being just owned by your family, 
just for being gay or bisexual, transgender, what have you, you know, and they get kicked out, you lose your family, the whole community is against you, so having heard so many of those stories, and not only that, but hearing about being bullied, I did not want to come forward and just out myself because I was terrified. And all it took was a caseworker recognizing it. I don't know how she did it, but she knew and she was the first person I told. And then the foster family and then friends in school, which was kind of surprising because the high school I went to while I was in foster care is in a very small town. Everyone knows everyone. But they didn't treat me any different, you know. I was still John. So it was a really, really, really good experience, you know, being able to be me, but at the same time, I still struggled. You know, I would go, I'm gay, I'm bisexual, I'm straight, no, I'm gay. I didn't really know what I was. I, I feel like it was because even though I told people, hey, yes, I am, you know, whatever, I haven't accepted it myself. And it took a long time to really accept who you are as a person because if you can't accept who you are, the person that you are, and you can't love yourself, how can you love anyone else? You can't truly love someone if you can't accept and love the person that you are. <coughs> it took a long time for me to do that. And it didn't make it easy. The fact that I'm also deaf or hard of hearing, however you want to label it. So we have this bisexual person who is also deaf, who is also in foster care, that have been through so much, and when people see all that baggage, they look at you differently. So I would have to keep my sexuality to myself until I feel like they got to know me well enough as a person before I tell them, hey, you know, I'm bisexual and go from there. Because it, I, I feel like as soon as you tell somebody your sexuality, the judgment's right there, you know, right off the bat. But if I let them get to know me, who I am as a person, not my label, not my disability, none of that, but know me as a person. In most situations, it worked for me because they get to know me as uh, John and then they later find out, oh, he's bisexual. Well, that's no big deal. No, he's still a cool person. So, and, you know, I'm, not a lot of people have a coming out story like mine where, you know, it's loving, it's accepting, and there are families out there that are not so welcoming. They will kick out their children. They will disown them. I can never understand how, as a parent, you know, you've carried your child for nine months, 
gave birth to that child, you raised that child for 10, 15, 18 years, and as easy as a switch, I don't love you anymore. Just because they came out of the closet. Just because they decided to be real with themselves. I cannot understand that. As a parent, you're supposed to love your child unconditionally. That is your child that you've raised. Just because they're gay, transgender, bisexual, whatever. Doesn't change the fact that that is your child that you raised with values and, and manners and, and, and respect. It doesn't change what they've learned. It doesn't change their love for you. All they did was come clean with who they really are. If you want to have a family, but cannot accept if your child could be gay, bisexual, transgender, asexual, whatever, you have no business being a parent. Being a parent means loving your child unconditionally, being there for them in their darkest hour, in the good times, you know, 24-7, you're supposed to be their wife. You're supposed to be somebody they can come to about anything. That is what a parent is supposed to do. You are not supposed to kick your child out. You are not supposed to just own them. You are not supposed to make them feel bad for being who they are. You should not make them feel guilty for bringing shame to your family. The only one that's shameful is you as a parent. Because if you do that to your child, you have failed. You have failed as a mother. You have failed as a father. Unconditional love. If you want to bring religion into it, the Bible says to love thy neighbor. You're supposed to love people unconditionally, regardless of the skin color, the background, the criminal record, the sins. You're supposed to love them anyway. So if you want to bring religion into it, even God says love them anyway. So the fact that you would kick out your child because of their sexuality and disown them. Not only have you failed as a parent, you have failed as a Christian. <clears throat> and to this day, people still ask me, hey, are you bisexual? And honestly, at this point, I am leaning to gay because I have completely lost interest in women. Uh, they past relationship has showed me that I can't trust women as far as relationship wise. I've been cheated on, I've been goaded, I've been you know Judge because, you know, I go both ways. And they, uh, I just lost interest in women. I no longer dick them. So lately I have been 100% focused on finding a guy. It feels right. I don't know how to explain it. I used to be able to picture, you know, a life for the woman, a life for the man. But now I can't even picture anything to do with a woman. I cannot picture marriage. I cannot picture family. I cannot picture life. 
it's, it's bad. And I'm almost 30. And I have gone from being bisexual for almost my entire adult life to slowly moving into the gay category because women in general, the ones I came across, they do not see me as a person. They see me as somebody with money. They see me as somebody to hook up with. They see me as somebody to just, you know, play games with, sing along, ghosting. Guys are just as bad, but as far as attraction goes, I'm still attracted to male. And that's pretty much the story that I wanted to share. And uh, I want to explain a little bit about what this channel is going to be about. So basically, my goal is to touch on subjects like LGBTQ+, mental health, um, the struggle that people go through and how they came out from that struggle and become successful, you know. There'll also be, you know, interviews. <clears throat> um, I'll be interviewing people about, you know, what they had to go through and how they got to where they are. You know, there's local businesses like at-home photography, things like that, who have similar background to me. But primarily, I'm going to be touching on like the mental health aspect of it and the, the LGBTQ plus aspect of it because I can personally relate to those, you know, whether it's bullying, um, struggling with, you know, life. Uh, what's it like to be gay in today's time? And my goal for this channel is it's more kind of like a talk show, you know, I do interviews. And then sometimes there'll be episodes where it's like this one, it's just me telling you my story or my point of view. And I really, really hope that this channel can help a lot of you guys, um, whether you're struggling with something or you just need someone to relate to, and hopefully I can be that person to do that. Um, and that's all I got for today. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you want to share your story with me or anything like that, feel free to reach out um <clears throat> i would say the best way to reach out to me um i do not check notifications on youtube as often i probably will now that i'm doing this but just to be on the safe side you can find me on tiktok at medic trembly m-e-d-i-g-t-r-o U-M-B-L-E-Y. That's my TikTok. Um, you'll be able to message me there if you want to share your story because I do check messages on there very often. Um, you can also find me on Instagram under the same username. Message me there. I would find some messages there as well. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys soon.